Hi, this is Dave from Steel City Jones Flight Academy. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Mavic gimbals and some of the issues that we find and we get phone calls about students that are having problems with their gimbals. On average, we get three phone calls from people who own Mavics and saying, do we repair them? They have a gimbal problem. And when I get to talk to them a little bit about what the problem is, the majority of the time, it's not even from a crash. The issue is from simple enough, they don't understand why it's happening. They get a gimbal overload error or it says over temperature error. And simple enough, we're gonna talk a little bit about the fundamentals of what's going on with that. So in essence, let's talk about how a camera gimbal works. So what we do is we have three motors on the gimbal. We have one for pan, roll, and tilt. And each of those motors has a job to stabilize that specific axis. And what ends up happening is there's two things that Mavic owners are doing that are damaging the aircraft. One, you know, we have the gimbal guard that we put on the fronts. A, that gimbal guard, if it's still on, when you power it up, it can't do its normalization, its uh, initiation of the process just to be able to get going. And thus, it's fighting that resistance and then it can cause mechanical problems from there from occurring. Um, also, the second thing is transporting it as well when you don't have the gimbal guard on. So, you can see, and we'll go ahead and do a close-up of this now, that protector protects that from moving around because these things are very fragile. They're like eggs. There is a third thing that uh, owners are doing wrong is that these things are come down and they can have come down on hard landings. And that can also damage the balance point on the gimbal. So let's talk a little bit about the balance point. So notice like right here, this is the roll axis, rolling left to right. You should be able to put this anywhere on that roll axis and it stays exactly where it is. It doesn't move. If your camera doesn't do that and it balances and it goes all the way from one end or the other and it can't maintain the balance point in the center or wherever you leave it, then there's a problem on the roll axis. Likewise, on the tilt axis, you should be able to leave the camera anywhere on the gimbal and it should stay there. If for whatever reason it's going down, there are a couple, now that can hit, there's a couple different things here. A, it can just be simply just damaged or if you're using a neutral density filter on there and that neutral density filter is a little top heavy, then that's gonna cause this to go ahead and not be able to maintain that balance point. So why is that important? Well, what ends up happening is these motors, again, they're balancing to keep everything stabilized. If by nature, let's say the roll axis is this, that way, like that all the time, then that motor has to work extra hard to be able to level the roll axis. And eventually, it's gonna go ahead and burn out and prematurely fail. And that's what can cause a gimbal overload error. So that's it. I hope that helps. So now you have a couple things to be able to double check your camera optics and making sure that everything mechanically is balanced properly and why, how the, the balance point can affect your camera gimbal to fail prematurely. So with that said, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks again. If you like this video and like to see more free videos in the future, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And while you're at it, if you're interested in free lessons on how to fly drones, discounts on drone equipment, discounts on insurance, or access to our exclusive drone video library, check out our website, steelcityflightacademy.com.